What's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to stream on Rumble from creating an account all the way to downloading OBS and setting it up for your basic scenes. Let's go and dive into the video. So first things first, we wanna make sure that we actually sign up for an account with Rumble. So let's go ahead over to their website, rumble.com. We're gonna click sign up in this top right-hand corner. And then once you actually fill out all this personal information right here, you're actually gonna be seeing a screen where it's gonna show you that you need to verify it on your email. And then once you verify your account, it will go ahead and give you a message like this. Now, once you've successfully logged into your account, we wanna to go to the Rumble homepage. In this top right-hand corner, there's two things. So there's gonna be your profile icon. We can go to live stream from here, or you can hit this little green uh, camera and then hit go live. I just wanna give you guys a heads up before we go any further. There are one of two requirements you do have to meet to go live on Rumble. Number one is gonna be you will need more than five followers. And then the other one is going to be you will need a pro account. Now, a pro account costs you $10. We're gonna dive a little bit more into that later. But from here, we're just gonna pretend that you have the ability to stream. If you guys don't have OBS, go ahead and head over to obsproject.com and then make sure you download it for your corresponding operating system. Once we have that downloaded and installed, it's gonna go ahead and look like this. So to set this up, we're gonna go over to File, Settings. We're gonna click on the Stream tab. Now from here, we actually don't have the option to stream on Rumble built into OBS. So what we're gonna have to do is go to Custom and then we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you how to get the server and the stream key later on. But first, let's go ahead and set up our output. So for the output settings, I'm just gonna run through these really fast. If you want the actual in-depth guide on how to set up your OBS the best way possible, go ahead and check out our video guide on that. Otherwise, I'm just gonna speed through this really quickly to try and keep up. All right, so for streaming, we wanna go ahead and do NVENC as long as you guys have a 2070 or higher for an NVIDIA GeForce card. Then we're gonna go to CBR for the uh, control bitrate. 8,000 is gonna be the maximum that they actually allow on Rumble. For the keyframe intervals, we want two. For preset, we want medium, tuning, high quality, multi-pass, two-pass, quarter resolution, profile, we want that set to high, GPU zero, since we're not running a dual GPU setup, and then max B frames is gonna be two. And then the next tab we wanna head down to is gonna be the video settings. And then from here, you can actually choose, keep your base canvas the same, so whatever your resolution is for your monitor, keep that the same. And then you can choose to downscale the actual output. I'm gonna keep mine at 1080p as I do a dual PC setup and then you wanna choose 60 frames a second or 30 frames a second. I recommend doing 60 frames a second as most games are gonna be 60 frames a second. And then once we actually have those set up, click okay. Once we're done setting up the settings, let's go ahead and set up a basic scene real quick, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab our stream key off of the actual website. First things first, we're gonna create a gaming scene. So let's go ahead and boot up Apex, like I'd play anything else. So now we have Apex open, let's go ahead and set up a game capture for Apex. Head up to game capture, then we're gonna to go to Apex. Ooh. Click OK. And then we're going to specific window and we will capture Apex Legends. All right, so now we're capturing Apex. Let's go ahead and add in a webcam. We'll go to the video capture device down here underneath our sources. We'll add Elgato Face and Pro. Now, once we have this added, we're gonna go ahead and put this over to the side. And there we go, we have a basic scene set up. So now let's go ahead and grab our stream key from Rumble. All right, so once you're on the Rumble homepage, you wanna click on this top right-hand corner with the actual green camera, go to go live, create new live stream. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and do a few things. So first we're gonna put in a live stream title, testing Rumble Apex, live stream description, I am Testing my first stream. The prime category, we're gonna go to gaming. Secondary category, no shot, they don't have Apex. All right, and for secondary category, we're gonna click on gaming because apparently they don't have Apex yet. Then we're gonna click on high quality stream. And now over on the left-hand side, you see this is optional. So you can actually place a video here. It's up to 120 seconds, so two minutes. It'll basically just loop itself, but it looks like we don't have to put it, so. No big deal. Now for the thumbnail, we're just gonna go ahead and place a thumbnail in there, but apparently you can choose your own. I just basically had one set up for already, so take your pick. And then tags, apparently there is search engine optimization on this, so if we want, we'll go ahead and put Apex, gaming, new, first time, funny, tutorial. And then streaming, this is kind of neat. You can actually stream as different accounts, so in case you manage other people's accounts, you can actually stream on their account if you'd like. And then you can choose if you wanna go live later or right now. We're gonna go ahead and choose right now. And then you can do either public, so anyone can watch a stream, unlisted or private. 
and then also make the recording private with the stream uh, after stream ends, which means you can basically just hide it at that point. So now we're ready to go. So we're going to hit the next button. And then when it comes to here, you can either choose rumble only, which means it's monetized. It's also non exclusive. So similar to YouTube is in like you can still put it other places or you can do not monetizable, not searchable, but available to your subs. We're just going to leave it on rumble only. We're just going to skip the additional info just because we're not going to tag anything. All right, terms, conditions. No, we've not signed any exclusive agreement with other parties. And then also just as a heads up, I would definitely read the terms of service before you start going live on this platform, but make sure you read that. I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not going to give you any legal advice, but I definitely recommend reading it. So we'll hit submit. Now, once you get to this screen, you have a couple different links right here that you can either send out or you can also embed it. But what we're going to do is just hit get streamer configuration. This is going to be where we actually get our stream key and our server code. All right, so once we're on this screen, we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy the server URL. We're going to go back to our version of OBS and go to settings. Then we're going to go to our stream. And then we're going to grab our stream key. Hit apply, hit OK. Now we're going to hit start streaming on our software. And there you go. Now you're technically live on Rumble and you're streaming and you're ready to go. And that's it. That's how to go live on Rumble from start to finish. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up to help us out. If you guys have any additional questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. And then also, if you guys want more content like this and also to help you inspire to create your own content creation journey, go ahead and hit that sub button. We really appreciate it. My name is Ivy Paul from Pipeline, and we'll see you in the next video.